Ok, bonjour les filles. So, aujourd'hui, nous allons apprendre le passé composé. So, what is the passé composé? So, the passé composé is used to describe a completed action. So, for example, here are three, here are three examples of completed actions. All three of these sentences can be translated by just one tense in French, and it's called le passé composé. Each of the following sentences contains an example of the passé composé tense. Ali a joué au foot hier. Ils ont visité Paris trois fois. Nous avons téléphoné à Luc. What is the first thing you notice about this tense? Look at the first of the highlighted words in each sentence. So what is this? Like what's highlighted in purple? Right? It's a form of avoir. Or it's the form of avoir. So here's just a little review. Right? This is the J A I Q A A S. Ila, ella, nous avons, vous avez, il est, l o n t. Right, so it's that verb. So with passé composé, since it's composed past, you always need a helping verb. All right, now let's take a look at the second highlighted words in each sentence. Jouer, visiter, téléphoner. This is known as the past participle, or in French. Le participe passé. Um, so to form the past participle, you take the infinitive. And for ER verbs, you remove the ER and change it to a. For IR verbs, you remove the IR and change it to I. And for RE verbs, you remove the RE and you change it to U. Okay, so E-R-A, I-R-E, R-E-U. Okay. So here are some examples of the three types of verb. So travailler would be travailler. Regarder, regarder. Finir. Fini, choisir, choisir, attendre, attendu, vendre, vendu. So remember, the passé composé is made up of two parts. The first part is the part of the present tense of avoir. The second part is the past participle. So there's avoir and the past participle. Okay, so now let's test ourselves with the following sentences. J'ai travaillé. Maman. Vous avez. Christine et moi 
avant chantait. Reto et Mars ont écouté. Tu as parlé. Elle a 